Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor. And today we're going to be talking about Edgar Rice Burroughs' Tarzan. I've talked about Edgar Rice Burroughs' Tarzan before, and today we're going to be talking about Edgar Rice Burroughs' Tarzan, his history in print, and the state of Tarzan in print today. Edgar Rice Burroughs is a writer who has gone through periods of being extraordinarily popular, where tons of his books were printed, and other times, well, not so much. Edgar Rice Burroughs, his popularity began in 1912 with the publication of Tarzan of the Apes, which was a hit. There were a lot of Tarzan stories written by Edgar Rice Burroughs. There were 24 of them altogether. And... He had written A Princess of Mars before Tarzan of the Apes, but it was Tarzan that really made Edgar Rice Burroughs popular. Edgar Rice Burroughs, of course, wrote a lot of different series of books, a lot of science fiction stuff, advent, science fiction adventure stories. He had the Mars series, he had the Venus series, he had the Pellucer series, which was his stories about the inner world at the Earth's core. He had a lot of, he wrote a lot of books, Edgar Rice Burroughs did. And, it, and there were uh, quite a few years where if you wanted all of them, you can get all of them easily. Originally, Tarzan and Edgar Rice Burroughs' other books were published in the magazines, in the pulp magazines and some other magazines, and then were published in book form, in hardcover. And so up through the 1940s, all of Edgar Rice Burroughs' books were published in hardcover. Edgar Rice Burroughs, realizing his popularity and kind of thinking himself of himself as a business guy, incorporated himself. He made Edgar Rice Burroughs Incorporated to publish his own books. And so a lot of his later books were published by Edgar Rice Burroughs Incorporated, which still exists. Uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs Incorporated for a long, long time just licensed out the character. Uh, to different publishers to publish, and comic book companies and things like that. Of course, Tarzan's popularity was fueled by the films. Everybody watched Tarzan movies at one time, I think, because they made a lot of them. A lot of Tarzan movies were made. But the books were a lot different, actually, than the, than the film versions, for the most part. Tarzan was a very different character than the character that is depicted in most of those films. A very intelligent character, for one thing. Lord Greystoke. And originally, like I said, they were all published in hardcover. Then the 1950s happened. Edgar Rice Burroughs had passed away. No more Edgar Rice Burroughs books were coming out, of course, because he was gone. And so there was a time when Edgar Rice Burroughs was just not available like he was at one time. And so it was harder to find Edgar Rice Burroughs books in the 1950s. And so that was one of those low points for Burroughs. But that all changed in the 1960s because at this point, paperbacks had become a big thing. And Ace Books had realized that the copyright on a lot of those early Edgar Rice Burroughs books had lapsed and that they can print them. And they did, because they were ace books, and they did that. And they were popular. They were really popular. Eventually, Ballantyne started publishing Tarzan books, the authorized edition, which means Edgar Rice Burroughs Incorporated authorized them to publish Tarzan books. And so we had a couple different publishers that were competing with each other, publishing Edgar Rice Burroughs books, and they were all selling like crazy. He was, Edgar Rice Burroughs was very popular in the 60s and the 70s. His type of adventure fiction was really hitting home at that time. Because he does have kind of a timeless quality to him, even though they're very much works of their time. There's something about them that kind of transcends the time that they were written in. And it, his, his books have tremendous appeal, and so they were very popular in the 60s and 70s. And 
as fast as those books could be printed, they were sold. And so eventually Ballantyne printed the Tarzan and the Mars series, and Ace was printing the Pellucidor series, the Venus series, and some other books. And a lot of paperbacks were published. Um, probably the ones we see the most nowadays are these black-bordered Tarzan books, because there were a ton of these published. This is the first novel. This is Tarzan of the Apes with a Neil Adams cover. Neil Adams, the very popular comic book artist, did a bunch of the covers for Tarzan, and then Boris Vallejo did a bunch of the covers for the Tarzan series for this particular edition of Tarzan. Now, earlier, of course, I mentioned that Ace Books was printing them, and this was the one of the earlier Ace publishes, publishings published books. <laughs> uh, I can't speak, excuse me. This is one of the early Ace publications of Tarzan. This is The Beasts of Tarzan, the third Tarzan novel. But yeah, it's this line that we most often see. Here we got uh, Jungle Tales of Tarzan, the sixth book. But there, there were a number of different editions. This is one of the earlier ones. Uh, this is another copy of The Beasts of Tarzan. Uh, this is one of my favorites for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I like the white border, the series with the white border. This is Tarzan and the Golden Lion. Now this one is the last one that is in the public domain, I think. The first nine Tarzan books are in the public domain now. And Tarzan and the other Edgar Rice Burroughs books were published like crazy until the late 80s and into the 90s. And then the well dried up and Edgar Rice Burroughs' popularity just diminished. And in the 90s actually is when it started to become harder to find the Tarzan books. And I remember that because I remember in the 80s when I was a teenager, I could walk into any bookstore and get any Edgar Rice Burroughs book. I mean, they were all available. 10 years later, that was not the case. And it's not the case now, actually. If you go into a Barnes & Noble, you will probably find the first book, Tarzan of the Apes, probably in a Penguin Classics or some other kind of classics edition. You might find, might find the first one or two or three Mars books. You might find the first Pellucidor book at the Earth's core, maybe. But that's probably it. That's probably all you'll find. Um, not much is being published uh, that's being sold in bookstores nowadays for Edgar Rice Burroughs. He ha the same thing that has happened to him that happened to H.G. Wells and Jules Verne, other, other writers who wrote a ton of books, and only a few of them you'll find in bookstores. Uh, the same thing happened to Edgar Rice Burroughs, but he wrote a ton of books. And like I said, there were 24 Tarzan novels. Now, if you're looking for them and you want to read them, you do have some choices. The first few Tarzan books, the first three were published uh, in a kind of faux leather-bound edition by Barnes & Noble. I've got the John Carter version. And I do have this one. This is from Gallant's. This is Tarzan of the Apes, the centenary edition that came out a few years ago. Same publisher that does Necronomicon, the best weird stories of Edgar, uh, excuse me, of H.P. Lovecraft, publishes this. And this is a nice edition that publishes the first, that prints the first six Tarzan uh, novels. It's pretty cool. The quality is, eh, but it's nice. I like it. So I keep that one on the shelf. But you can also get a really nice edition from the Eastern Press of the first three books that I saw that's super expensive. The first few Tarzan books you can get because, like I said, they're in the public domain. There are a lot of print-on-demand outfits that are printing those. And the same goes for the earlier Mars books. A lot of those are available. They're just available from different print-on-demand outfits for the most part. So the quality will vary. If you're interested in the whole series, right now the thing to do is get them used. Because even on ebook, like 
if you have an e-reader, you could find the first few Tarzan novels easy. I'm not so sure about the later novels. They've kind of come and gone. Um, I, there was a while when all of them were available as e-books, and then I saw some of them disappeared. So they're kind of coming, they're kind of hit and miss, what you can find uh, electronically. But in print, if you want to read them, you're probably going to be jumping on the eBay and getting used copies of Tarzan. There are plenty of them out there. I mean, there was a time between the 60s and the 80s when so many of these were printed that there is no shortage. If you go on eBay and you look for Tarzan or Edgar Rice Burroughs, you will find a lot of them. And so you can get them pretty easily and they're not that expensive. So if you're interested in reading Tarzan and you really like what you're reading and you wanna read the whole series, you can get the whole series used in these paperback volumes of which there are so many, so many of these were printed that there's, there's no shortage of Edgar Rice Burroughs books. But as far as new books being printed, not so much um, outside of print on demand. Now all this time, Edgar Rice Burroughs has still, Edgar Rice Burroughs Incorporated has still existed, but they haven't done much over the years. They've actually done very little except license out the characters. They do have the rights to the, the, the names of the characters. And all of the books past the ninth Tarzan book uh, and the later books of all the other series that Edgar Rice Burroughs wrote. And I remember in the 90s, there was a period where some really bad television shows were made. I think Tarzan, the Epic Adventures was the really bad one and some reprint paperbacks, some paperbacks were printed at that time of the first few Tarzan novels. And then those, those went away and that show went away because it was really bad. The less said about that show, the better probably. And that wasn't the only bad Tarzan show that showed up around that time. And I think it wasn't, was it in the late nineties that Disney did the Tarzan cartoon? And I think for the for a whole generation, I think Tarzan was known as a Disney cartoon, and that's it. Which seems kind of shocking, but that was the case. Tarzan as a character is not nearly he's not nearly as popular now as he once was. I think a lot of people consider Tarzan kind of a symbol of European superiority over other cultures or even white superiority over other races, which is unfair, I think. I don't think that's what Tarzan is. I don't think that's what Tarzan was intended to be. But I think a lot of people look at that character that way. And to be fair, a lot of the old Tarzan novels read like novels that were written when they were written. I think the depiction of race is a little bit more complex in Edgar Rice Burroughs novels than is given credit to them, especially if you read a lot of Edgar Rice Burroughs books. You'll see it, it's not a one-dimensional thing at all as far as how he was depicting different characters. In the films, it's a different story. And I think for a lot of people, the film versions of Tarzan they're still what people think of, which could explain one of the reasons Tarzan has gone down as far as how popular he is or how well regarded. But they were great adventure stories. They really were. And it, it was a great series of adventure novels. Nowadays, Edgar Rice Burroughs Incorporated finally, finally are putting out their own editions of Edgar Rice Burroughs books, and they plan on printing all of them, apparently. All of Edgar Rice Burroughs books, they plan on putting back in print. And they've started with the Tarzan series. So I was curious, and so I picked up the first three volumes. I've got Tarzan of the Apes here. They all have Joe Jusco covers. They're all in hardcover. This is Tarzan of the Apes, the Edgar Rice Burroughs Incorporated edition, the authorized edition. It can't really be authorized because this guy's dead, but Tarzan Incorporated, who owns 
the characters has has authorized these additions. This is these are their additions, and they. I really like their Return of Tarzan cover by Joe Jusco. That's awesome. That's Law. Great character from the Tarzan series. And then the Beasts of Tarzan. So I've got the first three. And I got them just to check them out and see if I wanted to continue with them. I had seen a video that Sean D. Stanfast did on them where he was very disappointed because he found that these are print-on-demand editions. Which you can tell because the dust jackets don't quite fit as well as some other hardcover dust jackets do. And you'll find that on print on demand editions. And it has this weird rubbery feel for the cover. But as far as how the book is printed itself, it seems to be printed pretty well. Glued binding, not sewn, of course, because it's print on demand. I understand why they did that because even larger publishers are using print-on-demand outfits. Tor books, for example, if you buy anything from their backlist or order anything from their backlist, it's gonna be print-on-demand probably nowadays. And so it doesn't surprise me that they went that route just for, you know, cost. And they're not bad, actually. They're better than I thought they would be. They have some extras at the back all black and white extras, but they're pretty cool. Um, so there's actually a lot of extra material in the back, which I thought was interesting. It's old reproductions of the earlier editions of Tarzan. So these are actually pretty cool, and I don't know how far they've got. I think they've gotten about halfway through the Tarzan series now. And so it'll be nice when they go through the whole series because at least then we will have new editions of a lot of the Tarzan novels that have been out of print forever. And so that'll be cool. And eventually they'll get to the Mars books and all of those. So And hopefully they'll have Joe Jusco covers because those are some pretty... He, he does pretty good work. He loves Edgar Rice Burroughs. Joe Jusco does. And, and you can tell the covers are pretty fun. So Edgar Rice Burroughs Incorporated now at least is reprinting all of these. They are expensive, I've noticed. Probably more expensive than they should be. Oh well, at least they exist, and that's nice. It's still a lot cheaper to get used copies. And uh, again, if you just want to try out this series, you can always get a lot of uh, e-copies for free for your e-reader just to check them out. But I I really like Edgar Rice Burroughs, so I collect all of the old Edgar Rice Burroughs paperbacks. I will probably, well, I will almost certainly just keep picking these up as they're published because I think this is a really nice set. Um, it's not as nice as it could be, that's for sure. You can tell <laughs> from from the spines there that they that this is a print-on-demand job, but it's a nice print-on-demand job. So, well, at least there's that. If you really want to get extra fancy with Tarzan, like I said, the first few books, the first three, I think, are available as an omnibus edition from Eastern Press, which is way expensive. And I haven't gotten. Probably won't. I probably will get those Edgar Rice Burroughs Incorporated editions as they come out. I think I will. But that is the state of things for Edgar Rice Burroughs, Tarzan. And like I said, the first nine books, any print-on-demand outfit can print those. And so those are readily available. But still, eBay is probably the way to go for the moment. I've probably rambled on long enough. I have. I rambled on long enough. Thanks for joining me once again at the Stately Vaughn Manor. And I will catch you next time.